Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez. Thanks for being with us, Brian. What's up, Steve? You're looking good today, man. You do, you've been out in the sun? Uh, no, it's snowing a little bit here. Oh, okay. I was just making sure because you got a glow about you. You really do. Thanks. <laughs> it's got to be that snow angel you made the other day. Was that a good one? That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. You know, I get ripped into Now, we're going to talk about weight loss drugs, everyone. We just kind of get sidetracked, okay? We're going to talk about semaglutide, Ozampic, and some of the weight loss drugs, which are all the hype right now. But, you know, I, I tell Brian when my feelings get hurt, I, I made a nice little snow angel, did my cold therapy, and I got people ripping into me for my snow angel. You know what they say? Don't you work your arms or your legs? I'm a hard gainer, okay? That's no reason to hurt my feelings. I know. You're a pretty sensitive gay. Did, now, when you, were, it. when you were a Division One football player, were you this sensitive? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just going to take it as that. Okay. If, if, if I, I was a defensive back, if somebody beat me, which was never, but if somebody did would have beat me, I would have cried. Oh, okay. I get it. Now I know why they're bagging on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so anyways, yeah, semaglutide. And it wasn't Division One either. I, it was Division Two. I played okay. at Chico State and okay. they don't even have a football program anymore. Okay. So, <laughs> All right, these weight loss drugs, you know, you see the, I'm trying to be nice here. You see them dancing around. Oh, 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 Zampic. Is that pretty good? It is. You're a great singer. For my, do not rip into me for my singing. So I, I was the only person in third grade that didn't make the choir because our teacher was the instructor and he goes, ah, we can't take you. I cried. Yeah. Did you, again, <laughs> sensitive trip. Yeah. So um, I am affiliated with Invigor. There is um, a promo code in there for a small discount. Now, I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't recommend it. But Brian, you really wanted to talk about, hey, if you're going to do this, a lot of people swear by it. Do your own research. We're not doctors. Um, and I, I always try to be honest. I'm just saying I, I wouldn't do it. I'm also affiliated with um, Royal Medical, if you want TRT. And we'll kind of make some comparisons about, you know, you if you go on TRT and you go on for very long, like I have, you haven't yet, but you, not as long as me, I'm on TRT forever. I have to accept that. Now, testosterone is a naturally occurring um, substance in the body. Right, right. But Ozampic is a drug that it, it's a peptide, a chain of amino acids, a short chain of amino acids. It got tweaked a little bit. This is my understanding of it. Turn it into a drug and now the big money comes where you've got um, insurance companies and all this involved. I know you've researched it a lot too, but your main point and what you want to make here is there's a lot of prices out there. Be careful and don't get ripped off. That's let you huge, talk. Steve. Yeah, I and I'll let you talk about the prices and stuff, but the one thing I want to say that I know you're probably going to repeat, don't just go buy this online. Get it through a doctor who is going to prescribe the medication for you. Now, there's lots of ways to do that. So, um, th but that's, that's really important. No matter what you're doing, you want to make sure a doctor is writing a prescription that he is it or she is advising you. And it comes from a compounding pharmacy or the right kind of pharmacy. So what'd you find out about uh, prices, Brian? Well, what's interesting first off too, is I want to echo don't do this stuff without assistance from pro medical professionals. Uh, both Steve and I, even on our testosterone side, we're, everybody knows we're TRT guys. Um, we have prescriptions for it. We don't just go and buy it from, uh, you know, 
Jojo the monkey out in the back and, and some guy's just dealing out of the back of the car. That doesn't happen. We get our bloods checked. We get our, our regular physicals. This is a part of our lifestyle. Now, look, I've been talking to a lot of friends because a lot of friends are diving into this whole world of um, Monjaro, Ozempic, the semi, semaglutide. I can't even pronounce Monjaro's basic name. Yeah, um, semaglutide is one that you can get at in vigor and um, also Royal Medical, which I am in a, uh, I am affiliated with. You can get them both, both at both uh, companies. And the biggest thing for me, first off, and I want you to remember this, everybody, if this is what you're going to do, behavioral change is the most important thing with any of this stuff that you take. If you take these products, whether it's the stuff that Steve and I are, uh, Steve and I are involved in, or if it's the uh, weight loss programs, if you don't change your behaviors, what are you going to do if you ever come off this stuff? And you have to think about this. This isn't a quick fix. The other side of that is if you're going into this as a quick fix, you have to remember that the body can get used to these products. Um, there's a little blurb in one of the studies um, that I read that talks about um, the potential of the body becoming uh, um, used to these products in the body. How are you going to come off of them? You have to talk to your doctors about this kind of stuff. Because I don't think people necessarily, when they're looking at weight loss, do this as, and they're, they're going to use a, a chemical into their body that they're going to do this with the idea, I'm going to be on this forever. They set a goal. I want to be 40 pounds lighter. I want to be 60 pounds lighter. The other thing is, is these companies, I know for sure in vigor, will not prescribe this to you online, which is one of the better prices, unless your BMI is up over 30. And so these medical staff at Invigor get it. I'm sure Royal Medical has the same um, type of setup. Um, I just haven't got their information back yet. And those, again, are the companies that Steve affiliated with us uh, through uh, Vitality and Wellness. Um, here's the deal. Don't get ripped off. I've talked to my friends that are using this, and this is what got me going. These people are very good people. Thank God they make the livings they make. They are paying a ton of money for these products. Just to throw it out there, semaglutide, I'm going to read this off my notes. I just pulled this off just to make sure I had it recent from Single Care Online. You can pull this up. Just do a Google search on uh, semaglutide pricing. Um Kroger, $814. Walgreens, $824. CVS, $848. Walmart, $848. Uh, the Monjaro, the Terza Peptide. Uh, Kroger, $1,000. Um, Walgreens, $994. Uh, CVS, over $1,000. Walmart, over $1,000. You're paying huge amounts of money for these products. I don't know why when you're using your own doctors, and I, I'm not bagging on general practitioners, doctors out there. I know you have a system and I know you have our, 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 our best interests in mind when you're doing these things, but they don't, they don't have the ability that some of these other programs have to get these, these products at these prices. If you're going to be willing to spend over $700 a month on this stuff, you really have to consider there's other things out there for the same products and other companies that can get it to you at a better price. Now, some people might say, well, my insurance covers it. Great. You're good. You're lucky. Uh, those people that don't have the insurance benefits where you're spending over three, four, five hundred dollars a month on these products, you need to look at these other programs. And here's why you go through, let's say, Royal Medical. They've got a promo right now under the semaglutide where you can get these products your first quarter for $199, everything's included. So you split that up per month, you're spending eight, you know, six, seven hundred dollars less a month on the product in your first couple of months. Um, in Vigor Medical, probably half the price than what I just listed you on these prescriptions from this other group. And I remember. Um, talking to my friends about this, one of my friends was talking about one of one of her prescriptions to fill the prescriptions was well over a thousand dollars. Look, 
I get it if this is your choice and this is where you want to go. You put whatever you want to put into your body. I'm neither here nor there on it. Everybody knows I I, I, I let you make your choices because it's your choice, your burden to carry. Um, go somewhere where you're going to get the same types of products for better pricing for you. Don't get ripped off. Now, differences are when you go to these companies, and again, I'm not promoting them because they're with us, but if you're looking at Royal Medical and Vigor, you're not going to be able to just go get it. They're going to contact you. You're going to speak to their medical staff. You're going to get a valid prescription from medical professionals like you would going to your own doctor. They're going to run your bloods. They're going to check all your levels. They're going to look at your BMI. They're going to work with you as you as if you were going to your general practitioner in theory. So take a look around. Don't get sucked into the hype. Now, I will tell you as a trainer and as a coach, if you're in the low 30s in your BMI, maybe we go ahead, we talk, and we try it the old-fashioned way first. You are not beyond repair. Behavioral change is the most important part of all of this in the weight loss programs, not whether or not you're taking an injection so that the insulin's flowing better into your body from your pancreas. Same thing with testosterone. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite. We looked into this stuff big time. I looked into this for years before I went into this and started a program for myself. So get the information, get what you need, use quality medical groups to do this, and don't get ripped off anymore. Quit allowing these companies to take all that money from you when these other businesses can create it, give you the same product for a better price. And I would close with this, Brian, just to so that people can understand. Okay, you may ask me, why do I recommend testosterone replacement, but I don't recommend these weight loss drugs? Why do I <clears throat> recommend CJC-1295 and Impamorlin? It's also a peptide. Uh, why do I recommend um, BPC-157? It's also a peptide. So is insulin. It's also a peptide. These are chain, a, a small protein chain. And here's the difference. I take testosterone because it, once again, is a naturally occurring substance in the body like these other peptides, but my body does not produce enough anymore. So I need to bump it up into a healthy level to improve my health. So it's smarter for me, in my opinion, to be on TRT than not to be on TRT. So let's take um, some of these other weight loss drugs. Are you going to be healthier by using these medications or by not using these medications. That's what you need to determine for yourself. And I always encourage everybody to turn your brain on and think for yourself. Look, if you're a type one diabetic, you have to have insulin or you're going to die. <laughs> you know, um, now if you're a type two, like you, you can go for a drug like Ozempic, but is there other ways? There's natural uh, substances that you can take. So I just like to look at all my options. I believe for me, the TRT is best for my health. Now, I'm going to have to be on testosterone for the rest of my life. I'm okay with that. Um, and I don't take any other medications, as you know, if you're watching the channel. Um, but these, I don't recommend, I recommend... TRT, if you're having symptoms and, you know, you look at your blood work and you're low, I recommend it for your doctor can tell you why. I personally would look at other options, no matter how big I was before I would even think about doing um, semaglutide. And I'm affiliated with two companies that provide it. So I'm, I'm just trying to be honest from my own perspective. And there, there's just too many other things to try. So don't just go take the weight loss drug because you want to be lazy and see how it works. Because what is the end game? I've accepted the end game for me with TRT. Are you ready to accept the end game with any 
modification, anything that you put in your body that's going to modify the way that your body works. That's my last two cents. Anything for you, Brian? No, I echo the same. Study, 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 everybody. Don't just go out and do it because it's kind of the, the thing right now. It's not a quick fix. You can lose the weight. Yes, I agree 100%. But it's not a quick fix to behavior. Because when you come off of it, what are you going to do? Remember that. All right, everybody. Thanks for being with us. You have questions, put them in the comments section. And we will see you next time. Peace.